Yo, Black Man, you know what's up. It's in the air. Everything's in the air. I ain't seen yeah. nothing like it in my long life on the planet. Actually, not that long. A whole lot of people been here. You know, somebody just like Olivia de Havilland or something like that. That's just 102 or whatever it is. Somebody yeah. else, you know, whatever. Mick Jagger's still living. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I wrote something like, "But that that boy, you know, he must, you know, he's doing it without formaldehyde too." So I don't know. <laughs> so was, I wrote something, you know, Del, Delphine wrote something. I, I'm on I'm on Instagram, but I just do my I just encourage people to do exercise. But Delphine, you see, she, she's always you know writing something. She says something about Mick Jagger's birthday, and I said something. Oh yeah, blah blah blah. Anyway, but look, before we get into it, there's something I just realized. I came across this thing, and I gotta find out if you. You won't, you won't know. You can't see because you know how we do. You on voice and I'm I'm here on thing. But there's this picture. I'm gonna put it up on the thing so you'll see. You'll see it. There's a there's a there's a girl kissing on me. There's a woman kissing on me. Don't worry about it. That's, that's that's Ken. You don't worry about it. Don't worry about her. But she's a photographer. This was at a I think it was at a, a thing we had done for um, uh, Ralph Ellison. Uh, anyway, uh, but I had this Henry Dumas sweatshirt on. Big stretch of his face and some stars around or something like that around. Did you do that? Yeah. I know you did it. I know your style. You know? Okay, listen, man. Not Look. only did I do that, I did three of them. Really? One for, for his um beloved wife. Uh-huh. Yours first. And you told me to do one for her. Uh-huh. And then when we went to uh it was a reading and I guess it was um like a, I guess a uh, um, remembrance of him. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a good brother, of yours, Avery Brooks, was there. Oh yeah, and yeah. He said he wanted one. Oh, you gave Avery one? Okay. No, no, no. I did not give him one. I, I looked at you, and you and you okayed it. <laughs> <laughs> then he got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Don't don't do that. Oh, that's interesting. I, I'm I'm I I talked to Loretta Lare, right before I left New York, and when I get back, I gotta see her. I'm just don't want to, you know, you know, she's she like 85 and whatever. Yeah. But 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 you know, she um, oh this 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 uh, she did a reading, right? It was the first time in her in in all her life she did a public reading of uh, of, of of one of Henry's poems called Root Song. You know, one of my favorites. It's actually her favorite one too. But she did it at her house, and she didn't want to do it. But you know me, I got to, you know, I, I did everything, you know, and she, you know, because she, you know, she's very shy with drawing people don't understand that. And anyway, she, she did it, so we read the poem together, and it's up on YouTube, you know? And then, so, okay. yeah, so some guy wrote and said, well, you know, it should, we should get her some, you know, they basically saying some production value, and I want to tell you don't know what I had to go through. <laughs> I just wrote back, like, <laughs> I've been known this woman since 1974, 70, well, 75. And I said, you know, that's all I said. Then I said something else, but he's really taking with Henry Dumas. But anyway, the reason why I bring this up is because next month, uh, they're reprinting uh, Knees of, uh, a, a reprinting uh, Knees of a Natural Man, uh, one of his poetry books. And then that's next month, because I'm here in St. Louis, and I just talked to uh, Eugene, Eugene Redmond. Right. And, uh, but next year, they're coming out with uh, Echo Tree, another edition of Echo Tree, but this one's going to have like a glossary in it because, you know, Henry be writing some stuff and you say, what what, what, what word is this? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but this, the reason why, I'm, reason why I'm asking you this is because um, I got to get, I got to get, yo, man, I got to get another one. I, I, I don't know where that is. It's probably in storage up in my sister's house in the attic or something like that, but I got to get it for next year, right? So, okay. um, but, um, but, you know, I don't know what, what, what to do. And, you know, I really would rather have like a hooded tee, like a hooded T-shirt, like a hooded long, mm -hmm. a hooded long sleeve T-shirt, something where, you know, you have this big face on the front, but maybe even in the back. I don't know. I don't know. But almost like a, a how do you say that? You, you know, like his, like, like his last name, Duma in the back, or Henry, something in the, in the back. I don't know. I don't know. You, you know, you, you know we, we, we have time. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, so I just wanted to say that because uh, was Henry Dumas in the air, hey, and you know I'm gonna do everything I possibly can. <laughs> Things is happening, you know, so I got to be I got to be on it. Anyway, uh, so what's, we have to finish last week. Uh, my, my 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 phone went janky, 
as they say. So when we got to your part, you didn't, you know, you didn't say what, you know. So anyway, we got to keep on going. I think we ended with something like Real Black. Real Black, the, you know, uh, the, the channel. We're talking about our subscriptions, right? right? Okay. Yeah. So you know Real Black. He's got some nice stuff up there now. He's really, and they're going to, and, uh, you know, Charles Woods, the uh, the historian of the crew, uh, they, they're making a film. They're making a film. He's going to, you know, talk about what he talks about. He, he's like, he's like better than Donald Bogle kind of thing, you know? So, uh, so he's gonna he's gonna do something, and so anyway, so it's a great great channel. So now, what else? Do, what else do you had? You had start. You had started. Well, it wasn't recorded, but um, we pretty well went through a lot, uh, all the stuff. Cold fusion, blah blah blah. blah. There's probably something that I left out, but go on, man. What, what, what's your list? Let's continue on your list. Okay. Also, um, I have something called uh, Good Vibes. Good Vibes. Uh -huh. Yeah, binaural beats. For who? Binaural beats. Spell, spell, spell it. Oh, B I N A U R A L um, beats. Okay, binaural. Binaural yeah. beats. Man, you Queens yeah. people, man. But I know you're a Bronx person. Wait a second. <laughs> I got to sneeze. Okay, that means I messed up, man. I shouldn't say that. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> But no, hey, wait, Jose! I know I you get. Wait, I have to say this. You know, you you got the you got the the Bronx Queens access. You know, I, well, access I should say. And you know, your uh, uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. She made news this week because you know she got that she got that Bronx Queens uh, access too. And 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 some yeah. some some thug looking, some white supremacist looking. You know, bull headed girl. You know, uh, Gomer looking dude try to break on her. But I don't, what are these people thinking? You know, they, they, yeah. I think they think they got Barack Obama. Because you remember when that yeah. Gomer guy yelled out, you lied? You know, yeah. if I was Barack, I would say, whoa, whoa. Hey, Sergeant Arms, take this dude out. He, he out there. And when, when Robert shook his head, no, again, I said, take that boy out too. You know, because we yeah. from the Bronx. That's what we do. I don't know what these yeah, people right. thinking. What are they thinking? You can't be messing with somebody from the Bronx. And then she got the Bronx Queens thing. She got, she got the black man thing in there. Pfft. Well, she ain't really got the black man thing because, you know, one of her constituencies is supposed to be Rikers Island and she ain't did nothing for the brothers of Rikers Island. So I ain't got, you know, I, I, I'm sort of suspect of that. They ain't do nothing yet? What's nah, man. Yeah, have you heard of doing anything about Rikers Island? Talking no. about Rikers, about the brothers locked up? You know, yeah. have you? I'm just asking, you know, I don't pay too much attention. So, so as far as I'm concerned, she could do her immigrant thing or her Puerto Rican thing or whatever her woman thing, and and and, and, and do what she want. But she got the whole Rikers Island. That's that's her constituency. She better do something. <laughs> don't, right. don't don't let me run into her. I run right up on her. Say yo, <laughs> no 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 no. You ain't doing this, yo. You got some other stuff to do. ADOS in the house, you know. Oh, that's right. I got my ADOS T-shirt on, so you can see ADOS hashtag ADOS. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I cut you off because I'm, I'm excited. I don't know why I'm excited, but I'm excited. Go ahead, man. I gotta change. Uh, go ahead, do do what you gotta do, man. What what else you got there? Okay. Um. Who else is it? Uh. Uh. I'm going through my list now. Hold on, cause I got I got like nine hundred and ninety four. <laughs> Subscriptions. I got a lot of subscriptions. Man. <laughs> Excuse me. I, no, I'm not giving nobody no instruction. You, I'm in my eldership right now. You know, you say something one time, you just let it go. People don't hear you. They just don't hear you. You know what I'm saying? You just, just, you just keep on moving. But uh, you go go ahead. Keep on going. You, you, I know you got some stuff there, man. Uh, I got. We went to the thing there. Okay. Go ahead. I'm, I'm doing my tea. Man, I had a huge oh. meal tonight. Yeah, go ahead. What you got? Oh, you know, there's one that I want to mention right now. Visual Arts Passage. Visual. I'm gonna start writing this stuff down. Wait a second. Let me write it on my other sheet over here. Yeah. Visual Arts Passage. Yeah. Now this is this is for the artists. Uh huh. For the visual artists, illustrators, and people that appreciate, you know, just meditating to mm -hmm. uh, people drawing. Mm 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 mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, Julian, he was the one that hooked me up with that. Okay. And by the way, Julian says that you do know him because you stayed, not... you stayed at his house. He stayed at his apartment one time for a minute. I don't know. Like maybe overnight. Oh, okay. I know. I, I know Julian. I, I, I think I know. But man, yo, even. You know how many people you have no. Yeah, idea. I know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. And you know, I have. 
I did I I never I didn't explain the third the third the third infinity to you, but basically in the past I don't deal nothing in the past unless you have extensive adventures with me. I don't know who yeah. you are. <laughs> I just don't. I just know too Wait, many that's people. Called the third what? It's called the third infinity. Oh, the third infinity. Okay, got it. I'll explain it to you sometime, but you know, yeah. I, I explained it to Grayson. You know, if you uh, if you go to the thing I did with Grayson, it, I explained it at the end, like the last two minutes. Of that interview okay. I did with, with Grayson, I explained the third infinity, but but that means he asked too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told no. He was going off with something. I said no, 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 no. And I tried to explain to him, you know, what what the deal is, right? And th- you know, this is this is one of my original theories. So it was like some other time. No, we'll, we'll we'll get to it. But the visual arts passage. Yeah, what else? Yeah. Um, then uh, oh, there's one. The universe inside you. The universe inside you, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the universe inside you is, uh, you know, like meditation. Okay. You know, chakras. Yeah, yeah. Look inside yourself. But then also, it just talks about a whole, it, it goes down a conspiracy rabbit hole, too, though. Well, you know, conspiracy, look, today's conspiracy, you know, is tomorrow's whatever. You know, I used to yeah. uh, check this guy. Uh, what's his name? High. What's his, what's uh, Jim High? S- something High. Cliff High. Cliff High. You know, and it sounds like conspiracy. But you know, as things go on, you know, you say, "Whoa." <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead. What else you got? Uh, the film theorists. The film theorists. Okay. Yeah. They just give me theories on different films and stuff like that. A lot of them are like um, popcorn films, though. Uh, what kind yeah. of films? Popcorn, you know. Popcorn, oh yeah, yeah, pop, pop, yeah. Yeah. Popular, popular corn films, yeah, I got you. Yeah, there you go, there yeah. you go. Well, for that, I, I do double toasted for that, and also there's my man. Yeah, I got something toasted also on my list too. Okay, but there's this other guy just. Yeah, I love the opening of that. Oh yeah. I think I bought that song. It's matter of fact. Well, you know, and then the other one, the uh, the other brother, I get um, just my opinion. I think it's just just my opinion review. He's good. I like him a lot. And I yeah. used to I used to do the Black Nerd, but I've, I've he fell off. I fell off with him because too much comedy. Oh, Black Nerd, I love Black Nerd. Yeah, everybody loves yeah, Black, yeah. Black Nerd. I don't I don't watch him as as much as I used to, mm-hmm. but when I do, it's good for a laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's this one since I'm into animation called ABM Animation Academy. ABM. Animation Academy. Okay. Now imagine your boy Mike Heiser yeah, doing Max, Max Kaiser? Teaching, yeah, Max Heiser. Yeah. Max Kaiser. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Teaching animation. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Max. So he's teaching while he's fighting with people that have said things in the chat to him and stuff like that. <laughs> About his techniques. Oh, and how he teaches. Oh, so it's hilarious. Wait, 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 I gotta do that. I gotta check that. What's it? Tell me again. I wrote it down, but I can't read my own writing. Okay. ABM uh-huh. Animation Academy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Real Animated Training Library. That's that's what he calls it. And um okay. it's one thing that he, he teaches, he like obsesses over to teach people with animation is um he calls it the the soft um I'm sorry the um what would you call it what is that sack yeah sackcloth sackcloth yeah sackcloth S- so instead of you know trying to draw like say a a a fully fleshed out human being cartoon character animal whatever uh-huh. you know you draw a sackcloth, like a, a you know, like a bag of flour. Okay. And you, and you animate that, and that does all the movements that you know any other animated character would do. Mm-hmm. But it allows you the freedom to to flow with it. I don't know. Always, yeah. Yeah, I have to check him out because I don't know what you're talking about right now. You animate yeah, your exactly. blow, okay. you know. Yeah, you know, didn't we work? We work. I know because you, you was like a great, great graphic. You was, you are a great graphic design. I think we worked on something. When something, one of the plays, we were doing something together. Well, pretty- we worked on um, the Long Dream, which you showed in a video one time. The um, the uh, it wasn't a flyer, but it was like the palm card type thing. Oh, uh, okay. It was a, it was like a Xerox palm card. So I did the logo for that. Right. Richard Rice, the Long Dream. I did the logo for the Outsider. Right. 
And then that's we did right. T-shirts for the outsider. That's right. That's we did right. We did T-shirts for the laundry too, but we did. We definitely did T-shirts for the outsider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I, then, uh, like you said, the Hemi Duma, I did that. Yeah. And I don't know if you remember. Um, I think one day I was in the area mm-hmm. hanging out where you were at, and you said I'm going to um, do this. Um, I guess it, I don't know if it was impromptu or what, but it was like a, a bit of a radio drama type thing, but not really drama, maybe a little dramedy. Uh-huh. And you said, I need signs for the audience. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that's yeah. when I started getting my audience participation for real. I mean, I I didn't I didn't develop this art form. You people you won't even I mean I done that so much with this art form, it's unbelievable, you know? Unbelievable. Yeah. Man. I can I, I right my, my work in South Africa is using audio drama to, to basically change the entire community. I we did one in this community, it was so it was so amazing that like a drunk came in off the street. And he participated. Yeah. Everybody, everybody knew what we were doing. We knew it was a play, you know, like that. But he's up there, you know. There was a, a minister there. He's up there pointing at him, and it, it was amazing. And it just blew everybody's mind. You know what I mean? It was, yeah. it was unbelievable. But, but, but go ahead. I keep on interrupting you. Oh, by the way, one of these days I have to tell you. Not now, but I have to tell you about uh, the long dream. The, all this drama around the laundry. That was an amazing situation. You know. And I'll tell you all about it someday because I always remember it. But but keep on going. What we up? What else we got there? Okay. Did um did we lose that Reverend Ike before? We yeah, I think we, we yeah we lost the Reverend Ike. But I think we lost the Reverend Ike. We love yeah, Reverend, Reverend Ike. Ike Legacy. Yeah. Reverend Ike Legacy. Right. Yeah, that was excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, here's something that you would like. These guys call Tap Brothers. T- t- spell it T A P. T A P P Brothers. T- all one word. I think I ran into them, but go ahead. Yeah, the Tap Brothers, they do um, uh, movement, strength, and flexibility. Oh, no, I don't training. know. Oh, no, I don't know that. Oh, that's good because of right now, um, you know, uh, um, you know, I start, when I was in New York, I was doing a lot of walking. Then I came here, I've been walking with the dog. And now I just started this month, this, well, a couple of weeks ago. Well, last so week, I actually. Floor exercises, right? Huh, say again? Floor exercises, you said? Yeah, I did my floor exercises, but I do, yeah. I think go somatics. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm just starting starting back in on it. So it's going to take me the, the all the month of August. Then I'm going to get the book. It's probably come at the end of August, and I'm going to keep on going. That by the time I by the time I show up in New York, uh, you know, I should have some strength. Maybe I might be able to do some push pull ups. You know what I mean? Push ups are easy, yeah. <laughs> but pull ups, you know, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. In fact, in fact, I do planks. I do planks right now too. You should do planks. You know, planking. Yeah, man. Well, you know, like like um, I was saying to you before, you know, with the job that I had, it like really messed up my joints and stuff like that. So that's why I look at like mobility training videos and flexibility training videos to try and get myself back to be able to like, you know, plank good and do all those other things. Because, um, yeah, everything got beat up bad. Yeah, but but you know, here's the thing. Here's the people don't understand. I see people up there running in the morning, looking like they're killing themselves. I say, look, you know, you, you got to. <laughs> everything is evolution. You 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 evolve up to a certain step, and even as you get there, you're not supposed to keep on going. You know, you're supposed to come back down like hills and valleys, hills and valleys, and we talk about long stretches of time. I, I forgot what they said. I think it's like 120 days for for a new cell or whatever whatever the deal deal is. But you know, you're there's a certain rhythm you got to go at, but you're not supposed to be extreme in it. Not at least not when you get older. Well, yeah. So, but see, that's why I checked out. Um, and you checked out on um, Miranda Edmund White. Nope. Don't know who you're talking yeah. about. But her thing is called uh, classical stretch in centrics. Spell that word. Um, e double S E N T. R I C S. Eccentrics. It's, oh, eccentrics. Like like yeah. like essentials. Like essential. Okay, well, well I'll figure yeah. it out. What what's her name? Um, Miranda Edmund Dash White. She's usually on like uh, a lot of those PBS stations when they um do their uh, fundraising drives and stuff like that. Yeah, but you know I don't yeah. do TV, man. 
don't do TV. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm just saying, but she's yeah. on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. She's on okay. YouTube. Okay. Like, usually if I see something on TV, I just go, oh, well, they got to have at least a clip or something. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Drill down and you find more. I don't even know why I'm writing this stuff down. When you see something significant, just send me the URL. Well, I'm dude, I should oh, be okay. modern. I should be modern. Okay. <laughs> what, what am I doing? <laughs> Go ahead, man. What else you got? Uh, who else? Um, man, who's that guy? I like, I like, um, Oh, I have like a lot of Apple related stuff because I'm an Apple guy. So let's let's leave um, Apple alone, man. I have to get the, I got to work with this laptop here. I, this thing drives me crazy, yo, man. That, that's, yeah, the Apple laptop it is driving you crazy. No, no, it's like uh, don't don't don't. Let's not go into it, okay? No, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, technology. Uh, okay. No, man, yo. <laughs> That's why I use pen and paper, you know. It's like, uh, well, it's not driving me crazy. I'm back to it now, but uh, you know, you know, because JB he has that's what he has. He's the Apple down, you know, the, the, the whatever. You know, I'm going to get me a, you know, I'm going to get by. I guess when it probably gets time gets to the United States at the end of the year, I'm going to get me a One Plus. Uh, 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 what's that? Nord, N O R D, because uh, you know I'm a One Plus man. I, I've had One Plus, One Plus Three. Right now I have a. I'm recording this on a, on a One Plus. Uh, what is it? Six. Well, yeah. So I'm ready to go to the Nord now. I'm not going to do a seven or eight. I'm going right to the Nord, um, like that. So that's what that's what I do, you know, Android. Yeah. Yeah. But go ahead, man. What else you got? Skip the um, apples, man. We're leaving the apples alone. Yeah. Everything else is like uh, basically a offshoot of the other one. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that's it. I guess. Mm. I'm looking through it now. It's like anything. Wait, I think this one you might like. This one you might like here. Um, once again, it's, it's movies related. Okay. It's called Think Story. Think Story. Breakdowns, theories, deep dives. Okay. I must have run yeah. across it some someplace, you know what I mean? I like that. Yeah. You know, I must have run across it. You know, but see, I, I think that, see, that one of the reasons why I want to talk to you on a more consistent basis is uh, not, not for nostalgia purposes, actually, <laughs> but, yeah. but but uh, really, just I'm just in this particular setting. If you, you know, if, when you see the background for this, I'm talking to, except for when I talk to my wife, which I, I won't be talking to her on this too much more. I'm just talking to black men. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because at this particular point, understood. At this particular point, people say what they got to do. They jump. They can jump. Whatever have you. But I want to talk to sh black men. You know, we warriors, yeah. and we supposed to be doing. We supposed to be warrioring. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not worrying. We supposed to be. We supposed to be vanguarding it or something, protecting the herd, whatever you want to call it. You know, like back yeah. in the days when we when we had you know first world alliance. You know, the women, the women, and other people sit down. You know, then we 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 all we we sur we surround the whole thing. That kind of thing. You know. You know. No. I, oh, yeah. I'm, ah, you know, no, nah, I don't want to deal with this stuff. You know, I want black yeah. men, and you know what I mean by men. I want, you know, don't don't get me wrong. You could have whatever sexuality you want, but you got for my purposes. <laughs> I need the warriors. I mean, one of the reasons why I want the one reason why I do what I do in the morning is because I'm feeling, I'm feeling something's happening, man. Something's happening. Yeah. You know, and I'm not, I'm not talking yeah. about jumping out here in a crowd with the with all this, you know, getting tear grass, you know, and all the rest of the stuff, you know, with, with Donald Trump bringing bringing the border guards and 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 Betsy's brother's stuff, and you know, and, and you know yeah. whatever else he's trying to bring to the fore, you know, and you know when he bring that stuff, them people are there to stay. Who next yeah. person come in, you know, but the, the, that racist Joe Biden, he'd be doing the same thing. I don't want to hear nothing about these people. In fact, my whole thing is like, why are we listening to white men anymore? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Why even, why even thinking about what they're thinking? I, I don't, I, I, if they say, I, mean, I completely ignore it. If it don't come from me, it, it doesn't exist. Because, because the stuff that they make exist is not existence. That's a part that I'm going like, what? what? Why are we just, why, why are you even reacting to this? That takes your time away. Every time yeah. I hear something about Trump, I say, why are you listening to this idiot? If you know he's an <laughs> idiot, why you keep on re re responding to him? <laughs> See, I don't respond to him. I mean, if you consider my, my laughter response, then I guess I am responding well, to him. But yeah, I do too. to yeah. me, he's, he's, you know, just as entertaining as, you know, a cartoon that I will watch. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's how I look at him. Exactly, and that's what I want. I want I want black men that 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 think like that. 
You know what I mean? I don't want no black man to say, well, you know, we, we got to have the women. We got to have some unity, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you unify over there. <laughs> you know, and you, yeah. we, we, this is war. I mean, this is war where, you know, okay, you, you, you're in charge of your munitions. You're in charge. You, you the Red Ball Express over there. you flying yeah. the planes. you doing that. you the medic. you the da-da-da. I'm, you know, I'm doing, you know what it's like? I was watching Oliver Stone the other, uh, the other thing. Uh, Joe Rogan was interviewing him. And it, yeah. you know, I love that movie Platoon. I really love that movie oh, Platoon. Yeah, Platoon, excellent movie. Yeah. Man. Because you seen, you know, you seen the what the one sergeant, you know what I mean, he needed he needed his other white guys. He he needed that. Then then, yeah. then you have the woman, the full character who can go between everybody and when it yeah. needs to be done, he say, Look, I got something to do. Y'all can't be hanging with me, I got something to do. Well that's me. Yeah. yeah. That's that character, and that's the same character. That's why I remember I say, how they um I remember we used to talk about how they cast it against type with the two of them. Mm-hmm. With um Tom Barringer. Tom, Tom Barringer. Yeah, and the foe. Usually the foe plays the villain. <laughs> and this time the foe wasn't the villain. He was like I said, he was the spy, man. I'm telling you. Like the kid, yeah. that's what that's what I say about Black Panther. Everybody talking about they chichala and they and they kill manga. I said, what are you what are you are you all crazy? No. No. Nakia is the one. Yeah. Nakia is the one. Forget the female. Nakia is the one. You know, when I first went to Africa, when I was in, um, when I went to, I went to Senegal, I was at a radio conference, yeah. and the only two ADOs there was me and Shelton. You know, you, you remember Shelton, no, Shelton Walt, anyway. Me and Shelton was the only two ADOs. This was an international radio conference. And I'm telling you, man, I was, I was so, I had fasted before I went. I, Okay, I admit I lost my mind. That was the first time I was in Africa. I actually lost my mind. I must. I just. I mean, I was. I was walking around barefoot. I had my shakers on. I was. <laughs> I was talking to everybody. In fact, a group of uh, we in the middle of our conference. Some. Some. I think there was like these these ministers from finance mission from all over Africa came and I was like, hey brother, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they were looking at me. You know, they all dressed in their suits and stuff like that. You know, and I'm just like, you know. Talking to everybody, you know, but one of the things Sean brought me up with somebody said, he said, Anthony, Anthony, you got to calm down, man. You know, these people here, they think some wrong. They think that you high. I know, you know, I, I know you don't take drugs, but you know, I'm like, and I, and I said, Sean, let me, I said, Sean, let me tell you something. I, I, I don't know exactly where I come from on this continent, but I claim the entire continent from Cape to Cairo. I got information. I've been in the belly of the beef. I got, I got beast. I have information for these folks. You know what I mean? So my whole yeah. thing has always been, I'm a spy. I'm just a spy for real. You know? Yeah. But I'm a warrior spy. I'm not just a spy yeah. going to give the information. You know, I'm going to, at the right time, yeah. at the right time, a goon just pops up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm healing yeah. I'm healing most of the time, but when, when I have to drop it and heal. In fact, this is exactly what happened when we took over Bronx Community College. You know, in, 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 in what, was that 68, 69? You know, all the upheavals? I was part of a revolutionary cell, just minding my business, doing, you know, da, 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 da. And then when we took over the school, we had to come up because we were studying. We were the ones reading, you know, the, 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 uh, Fanon and, you know, and, and the Krumba and Che and whatever. And uh, we were getting the, the uh, organization symbol. We was giving them information, you know what I mean? So we was like the brain trust. And then when we took over the school, we had to sort of like, oh, gosh, now we got to pop up and, <laughs> and be something. You know what I mean? That was our first two communications, man. So, yeah, your role changed, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. look, I'd rather enjoy, I'd rather enjoy just, you know, hanging out, observing, you know, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing a James Baldwin thing. I'm just a, a, tra a, 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 a witness traveler. That, that, that's what I am. That's what that, that, we came to me in. Reverend was talking about that. I'm a witness traveler. That's what I am. Until something happened, then I got to be ready. I'm ready, and I'm telling you, the people I know, we are ready. We got to, we got to, this, we got to pounce. You know. Yeah. Mm. So what else has happened? What else is happening? So we got that. We got that going. What's on your agenda, man? What's what's happening? How are you interpreting what's going on these days? Well, to me, I just look at it. As far as what's happening now, for the past week, they've been slowly turning the narrative to unemployment, evictions, stimulus, possibly. And, you know, you, you kind of hear those things. And when I'm saying 
me hearing those things, it's like I'm walking past and the TV's on and they say it. Or, you know, you may be flipping channels and, and you see it. And I just find that, yeah, this is, I think this is the next phase where it's like the poverty phase. You know what I'm saying? We had the um, early pandemic phase. Then we had the George Floyd phase. So then there was a certain level of empathy and stuff. Oh, in between there, you had a stimulus phase. So it's like, okay, it's, you know, don't worry. You know, we got you with the stimulus. Huh. Good. Then we had, you know, more pandemic. People depressed the gang. You know, like the cycle of it. Well, pandemic and, is not going away. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, it's first pandemic was like the top story. Then it was like stimulus second, you know, became the top story because it's like, OK, we're dealing with the pandemic. But what, what you going to do about the money? Unemployment, blah, blah, blah. Not so up <laughs> we, we got you. We got you some stimulus. So then, you know, everybody got that check. You know, Trump sent out the letter to say you're welcome. Right. Then after that, it was like, oh, no, let's go back to, you know, the numbers. You know, is anybody flattening the curve? You know, other states are why we got to wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, the George Floyd thing happened. Mm. Right? So then that happened. Now that happened, all of a sudden, it changed the narrative of pandemic and everything to, you know, social justice. So now, social justice is kind of like, it hasn't run its course, neither has the pandemic. But now it's like, well, second stimulus, evictions, you know, more and things are open. Eviction is going to be a big thing. You know, job loss, the market, getting jittery. Also, like, to me, that's the next phase. Well, the, 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 the evictions is the big one. That's the big yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. That's the evictions, because, like, unemployment was already there. You know, where they're going to get another, you know, shot in the arm, we don't know. Mm. You know, stimulus, we don't know. But, mm. the uh, like you said, evictions, though, that's huge. That's huge. Because you know the people that got evicted in the two thousand eight, they still hanging, they still around. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, exactly. So this is just on top of that, on top of that. You know. Yeah. You know um, oh, by the way, oh, I, I, I posted something up uh, earlier today on John yeah. Lewis. Oh, I'm even upset. Yeah. You know, I made a little mistake, but there are no mistakes. You know, I, yeah. let me tell you basically what I said. I don't know if you saw it, but basically what I, I said. Didn't see it yet. Oh, and then I won't spoil it for you. But let me, I just made okay. one mistake. I, I won't spoil it for you because even I, when I was through, I said, ooh, wow. Oh, the brother, the brother really like, ooh, you like that? <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> There's a tiny bit, I wouldn't say it's an error, it's an error, but it, it, it's all right. I, 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 I talked about it in, in the notes, you know, I corrected myself in the yeah. notes. But other than that, but the thing is like, I, as usual, when I ranted, you know what I mean? I was really mad. Yeah. I was really upset. Because this this has been with me for a long time, and this just yeah. because you know you got the you got the like you say the narrative that they keep on changing, you know, you know. It's, it's the other interesting thing is a lot of a lot of the folks like they would the, the regular folks not the regular folks the the, the biggies you know the the main whatever those people are with with uh, with John Lewis now the, the, the black people and struggle people they with C T Vivian right but for me yeah. I have another take. Or I, I, didn't, I didn't jump down to C.T. Vivian. I, I left him alone because, you know, he's too beloved with a bunch of people, you know. But, 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 yeah. but that I'm whole, actually working on a little drawing of him. Oh, good. Because everybody's doing uh, John Lewis. I'm like, well, what, what about the other brother? <laughs> so, I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, let me give C.T., you know, Vivian some love. Well, let me put it this way. There's a, there's a, there was another, uh, let me put this, this is an introduction to what, when you finally look at the thing. Uh, Oh, there's another? No, there is another, let's put it this way, another former chairman of SNCC that's still around. That's all I okay. have to say. That's all I have to say. All right. And okay. uh, the, the, the title of my thing is like, it has something, I, no, I won't say it. Yeah, I will say it. I blow, I blow, did I say I blow? Yeah, I think I said, I blow a booger on John Lewis's grave. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Something like that. I throw these things out, then I just keep on going. I don't be dwelling on anything. So yeah. I'm just telling you. 
people be upset if they want, but the truth hurts, you know? Yeah. And I tell people why, you know? That's the whole thing. Man, you know, because I get emotional. I want them black people to say, oh, you angry. I say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what else is new? <laughs> and what about it? <laughs> Don't make this black man angry. <laughs> well, you can make him angry because he's always angry. You can't make me angry because I'm always angry. <laughs> I'm so angry, I laugh. That's how, that's how angry I am, you know? Oh, I hear that. Shucks. Hey, man, I, 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 I ate a lot today because, you know, tomorrow I fast. But I got the licorice root tea that I got, right? But you know what else yeah. I'm mixing it with? Smooth move. Just thought I'd mention it to you. you know? Oh, smooth move. Okay, I know that. Smooth yeah. move. I very rarely do it, but you know, I said, uh, uh, yeah. let me clean out my system tonight. So tomorrow, rather tomorrow. So I can. Yeah, hey, what's up with the prune juice? Oh, yeah, I haven't had prune juice in a while. I should have. I, you know, I totally forgot. I got it in the refrigerator, but I, I guess I do. I only do prune juice like, like, like I do like every three weeks. Because I have regular movement, so I have no problem with that. You know what I mean? But I just, I just, actually, to tell you the truth, I like prune juice. I like the, t- <laughs> I like the taste of prune juice. So, but, I am. yeah. So, so one of the things I do is like if I some, if I like something really well or a lot, what I do is I sort of sparingly use it. Same thing with clothes. If I really like a garment, I won't wear yeah. it a lot. You know? <laughs> yeah, like me that. too. Me too. You know, it's like that. There's yeah. certain things that I won't, but then there's certain, like, if it's a uh, piece of good footwear that I love, mm. then I'm going to wear that a lot. It's, it's strange you should mention that because because my brother in New York, my, my fraternity brother in New York, you know, he gave me some shoes before I left. Uh, they're steel toe uh, sketches. Oh, man, I, that's all I wear here. I went because that's what I brought. You know what I mean? Because the VA gave me these other these nice orthopedic shoes that look, look look real nice. I was wearing them in New York, but this one I just use all the time, man. It's waterproof, steel toe. It's just like a sneaker. Oh man, yeah. I I love it, man. I wear it every day, every day. You know. So man, so look, I I let tell me something else. You, if you ain't got nothing else, then you know we 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 done held on a little bit long as usual. You know, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm I'm good for today. Yeah, maybe 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 on Thursday we talk about ADOS because I do want to say something about the uh, um, everybody talk about the you know pay to the bag the money whatever have you. I'm looking at people like oh really? I mean, it's more than that of course, but I want to deal with the money. Uh, with my oh, idea. Can I say something real quick about say, ADOS? You you can say as, yeah, as much as you want. Doesn't have to do with um like you said the bag the money or anything like that, but. I just found when um at some point I like looked at a little bit of the um the Edmund Pettus Bridge crossing. Mm-hmm. You know, today where they, they carried um uh John Lewis's coffin across. Uh-huh. And I was just noticing how 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 we walk. You know what I mean? How we walk. Like there's a certain that's a ADOS walk, that walk that you saw. Man. Like the way they walk, the way their bodies moved and everything is like it's very unique. Let me tell you something, man. When I when I take the dog out, right, in the morning, yeah. and you know, I do I, I do I do some dance walking, do some uh, some other kind of walking. I actually do dance whatever have you. And sometimes there's some brothers coming by. And yeah. I can tell by how they how they give me a hail who's ADOS or not. Yep. Yep. It's really lineage, man. I'm telling you, if you have it in you, if you just came yeah. from another country, you ain't got that gait. You ain't got that smoothness, man. You just, yeah. it's like, we're, we're, we're close to the home of Miles, you know, because I'm, I'm saying right now, because East, uh, East St. Louis is right across the across the water there, you know, across the across the water there. It was like Miles, the birth of the cool can only come from Miles. Yeah. You know? Simple as that. We yeah. Got, and it doesn't matter what strata you are. You know what I mean? Because Miles yeah. is th- th- thoroughly upper middle class, you know, or that yeah. is upper class. He's still cool. Now, some of, yeah. the, some, of the, some of these people who go to the upper the upper class, they just, they just, you know what they be doing, you know, a- anyway, but they, they got it. Code switching? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they be code switching. Code switching, coon switching, and everything else switching, you know. <laughs> switching. <laughs> switching. <laughs> but when, when, it, when it come down to the fight, when it come down to the, to the thing, yeah, man, and like 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 we said before, man. I no, not we. I, look, I, I say this all the time. Look, 
there's nothing else I would rather be on this planet but a black man. Mm. Yeah. ADOS man. American, yeah. North American descendant of chattel slavery. That's my lineage. Yes, I got yes, I got some American Indian in me because some Mohawk in me, sure. And I, of yeah. course it's slavery. I got got some some Caucasian white with a European in me, sure. Yeah. But the dominant, the dominant yeah, there and then go. plus it's the cultural thing. There's no way around that, you know. Yeah. Uh, check out uh, Karen Hunter did a, a, a you know every Saturday I, li I listen to Karen Hunter because I got to get me some uh, you know some uh, some car man some Doctor Car. He yeah. went, he went into a heavy about the bitch. Oh, did you, you should see this one because he talks about Mickey Mouse and them and minstrels. Yeah, I actually saw the um, you know the, the clickbait for that, but I didn't click on it yet, so I got to check oh, it out though. You got to check I it think, out. I did bookmark it though. You'll 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 appreciate it. You'll appreciate yeah. it. Man, like everything, every everything that people yeah. think ain't it, we we are the, we 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 at the forefront of everything. Absolutely, don't matter what it is. I remember back yeah. in the day, I, you know, I, I I went and saw Andre Watts a couple of times. You know, classic pianist, like that. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Leontine Price, I met her. <laughs> you know, all them, you know. They, they, these didn't, they, and, and let me tell you, the opera sisters, <laughs> at least they used to be, the opera sisters would be down. They like down. You know what I mean? They, 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 they like, whoa, super black. You say, whoa. <laughs> like that. So we'll see what happens. I'm interested to see what all, you know, the, the, uh, the problem now is that a lot of the times they take, they've elevated a lot of us, or a lot of us, some of us to celebrity in such a way that, that we, that we we can't no nah, I shouldn't say that but let me not say anything about about that you know things come things are coming right things are coming right it's alright people know what to do you know mm. yeah so now what do you think about um I know we, we were gonna like shut it down but I had another question sure. what do you think about um the whole thing with Chicago now okay look you said that the mayor is welcoming um yeah yeah you know the militia well, no, no. You have to understand that that's that's the, the 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 political class is one thing. I I don't like to speak on stuff like that because yeah. I'm not on the ground there. Yeah, I'm not on the ground there. All kinds of things have always been happening in Chicago. Chicago, I, of course, I pass through Chicago every time I take the train. But you know, yeah. so, and, I, and I don't really know Chicago. But from what yeah, I understand, it's like to me, it's like it's a big enigma to me. Yeah, but the thing is, it's always been sectioned off. You know what I mean? The blacks are yeah. definitely in one section. So when she's saying, when they say Chicago and they're bringing the troops, they ain't bringing the, they ain't bringing the troops. Is it the south side is with black? Whatever side it is, that's where they're bringing some troops. But you but, know, but they're not bringing it where the Cubs play. <laughs> I don't, I, like I said, I don't know lay out the city, but I, I'll say the same thing. Uh, let's go. Let's go where we started with uh, with, with AOC, Alexander Ocasio Cortez. When they say, yeah. "Well, what if the police don't? What if the police don't come? Whatever have you?" Then she said, "Then it'd be like the suburbs." Yeah, you know, we don't know. Yeah. We we don't know what's happening. We I, I'm not on the ground. I don't know who's perpetrating it. Yeah. I don't know who. Just like, just like they don't grow the guns there. They don't put that. They don't make. They don't manufacture guns there. There's no. They're not. They're not been go, going through the asphalt and 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 taking the minerals out and making the guns and stuff like that. They're not making the bullets. It's got to be coming yeah. from someplace. Who's supplying it? You know what kind of agent provocateurs? What the whole thing? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't yeah. know. I don't know. You know. Can it's I say? crazy because, like, you know, us being New Yorkers, it's like. When, when you look at some of the other majors, it's like, we don't really have areas that's like totally sectioned off. You know, maybe at one time, but not now. Mm. Now it's like, everybody's everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, what? everybody is everywhere. There's what? hardly any area that is like, that you can say like, oh, well, they dominate over there. Mm. Not really anymore. Like I said, I don't know the situation. But I'm talking about New York. Though. Yeah, I, I understand, but I mean, back to Chicago. I don't know the situation, but we're, if, we're, even though I'm not there, if I was to give any advice, which I'm not, but you know, as, as, as elder advice, I say, brothers, yeah. when I say, but I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking to the brothers. You know, you throw in yeah. everybody else if you want. I say, brothers, here's what we're going to do. You know, because because remember, uh, uh, Spook, who sat back to, uh, Spook who sat by the door, that took place in Chicago, right? I said, yeah, brothers, yeah. brothers yeah. here's what you do, man. 
You know it's coming down, right? We need you. This we 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 got to be tactical. You got your supplies, you know, like that. When these people yeah. move in, you know, they got to eat too and everything like that. They're going to be ready. You just fade away, nourish yourself, talk amongst each other, whatever have you. When they get tired of, of being away from their loved ones or they've done beat up every day that they, can, they can beat up, you know, then, then you know, we're going to be on another level. Right now, li li listen to ADOS, you know what I mean? Go start, start getting some knowledge, you know, the, 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 you know, just start listening to some other stuff. Have your little groups, group of five and six people and strategize, strategize for the next move, you know. But, you know, they're, why would they ain't going to listen to me? I'm not a, I'm not from Chicago. I'm not their age. I don't know what's going on there. And I'm not giving nobody no advice, you know. Yeah. Can't do it. No. Mm. Hey, but Godspeed to them, you know. Just uh, yeah. be, be 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 wise, be wise. In fact, Corey Holcomb's from Chicago. Let 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 yeah, yeah. let, let, let Tuesday, Tuesday come. You know, listen to fifty one fifty. Take yeah. take Corey's advice. You know what I mean? And, you know, I don't know. Yeah, because he'll be real with him. <laughs> that's, that's right. And you know, and you know, and you know. Come on now. She's she she the mayor. It's like, 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 by now, who do you think Biden's gonna be for a vice vice president? First of all, Kamala Harris is done. He'd be stupid if he take her. The most logical choice is Susan Rice, to tell you the truth. Logic says it should be Susan Rice, you know. So, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but guess what? I don't care. <laughs> it's not, it has nothing to do with me, it has nothing to do with my mission, what, what needs to be done. Pick whoever you want, it's not gonna change anything. I mean at the end of the day, you know, that's not going to change your life. It's not going to change our circumstance. If, if, right, exactly. if, if Barack Obama didn't change our circumstance, you know, and he is flitting in and out, you know what I mean? Then who? You, who? No. Yeah. No, no. I'm not going for it. All right, man, I got to get some sleep. Cause I get up early in the morning, you know. I get up 4 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, you do. You know, I'll be out, you know. Yeah. By the way, sometimes I see that. I see that in the morning. I'm like, okay, he's up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, up. I'm up. Yeah. No, but you just, you just, you just see me. I guess it's like what? Yeah, it's like it's like seven o'clock where you are when I when I post. But I'm up, I'm up two hours before then because I got to do my floor exercises. I'll be doing some breathing. I'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Then then I go out. It's just at six o'clock is when I post. Wherever wherever I'm in my little routine. Is when yeah. when I post it at, at well, it's my time is six. I guess your time is like seven. Yeah. And, and Cape Towns, they, yeah, I mean, I just guess they. I don't know what time they are. They, they, like eleven or something like that. Because you know, I got people in Cape Town because you know South Africa because uh, I have ties there. Let's put it that way. Uh, you, know. <laughs> you know. All right, man. All right. You, you be well. Yeah, you too. All right. Stay strong.